Hey there, AJ from Corsham Music School here. Today I want to discuss a question I keep on hearing in lessons. It comes up time and time again, and is this. Why do I keep making mistakes? A student will often say things to me like, sometimes my practice is going awesome, everything's just on, my fingers are doing what they're supposed to, I feel really good, and then the next day, the very next day, I just fall over and nothing is going right. Now there could be a hundred different reasons why this could be happening. You might be tired, things might be stressful at work or school, your mind might be preoccupied, etc, etc. But here are some common reasons you may be making mistakes and I want to give you some advice on how to get past them. Number one, you're playing too fast. This is a big one. This is so common, uh, particularly with new students. They try and play the passage at speed, and just like try and hammer it out and hope. And, um, and the thing is, is that if you're not ready yet, if you don't have the skill base to support it, if you're not able to just attack that, then what's going to happen is you're just going to make mistakes. And worse, you're going to practice mistakes. So slow it down to the pace you can handle, and then when, you, when you're going to play that passage, when you're going to drum that beat, when you're going to sing that song or whatever, what will happen is your brain will go, oh, this is how it is. But first of all, you've got to get it accurate. Which leads me to number two. You've practiced it wrong. So there's such a thing as a memory track in the brain where you're just constantly driving down the path. And if you keep on practicing something wrong, over time, your brain is going to remember that's how it is. And then it's going to be a fight a real fight to play it right. So the trick is, is practice it properly at the speed you can manage, and then, once you've got it right, the speed is normally not an issue, it will just come. You'll just have it one day. But you've got to make sure you're practicing it the right way, not the wrong way. And you've got to be doing it more right than wrong. Okay, so number three, and this is a real hard one, you realize you've missed a step. So this is where you're like, you've gone through most of a passage, most of a song, and then you're like, oh, but wait. And this is hard because you might already have the whole thing almost ready to go, and there's just one bit. And here's what you've got to do, and it's not easy. You've got to discipline yourself, go back to the bit, add it back in, slow it down, slow everything else around that part down, get the mechanical part or the, the lick or the whatever it is right and then add it back in and then slowly speed up the surrounding passage. And number four, the fourth reason why you might just keep on making mistakes or you know one day you're making mistakes, one day you're not, and it could just simply be your basic skills aren't quite there yet. So when you're learning, you're new to an instrument, you just got to expect that there's going to be this lead-in time before you're going to be really, really competent. And that can be years, or it could be, you know, for a particular skill, weeks. So um, you just got to keep on hammering away at it, always trying to get it right more often than getting it wrong. The most important piece of advice I have here is to take a long-term view of your practice. You can't expect to be awesome overnight. Balance practicing the fun songs and the stuff which you enjoy with the skill stuff that's uh, designed to get you better. And yeah, you will make it. You're totally going to get there. Right, I hope that's helpful. Have a really good week practicing, everyone. Mm -hmm.